Who is Sarah Aldretti? Warning, the following contains images of graphic violence and not suitable for all audiences viewer discretion is advised. from his Brownsville home, Mauricio Rodriguez stared in disbelief at the Santa Elena Ranch at a one-room shack filled with candles and other reminders of the devil worship that ended the life of 21-year-old Mark Kilroy, one other unnamed U.S. citizen, and 10 Mexicans. Outside, a scorched cauldron still holds the remains of what authorities say is human brain matter, animal parts, and blood. Yeah, I never believe it. So far, authorities have unearthed nine shallow graves still filled, some of them with human hair, skin, and body parts. They believe two more young victims remain buried here, that Mark Kilroy spent 12 hours on the ranch before dying. They wrapped heavy duct tape around his, his eyes, and forehead, and face, and his head. Uh, they assured him that uh, he was not going to be harmed, uh, that he was not in danger. Uh, they fed him some Bread and water, we understand, and then uh, one of them ultimately came up behind him with the machete and, and, and hit him across the back of the head. With it. Authorities say that the devil worship and human sacrifice practiced here may be a brand of voodoo or black magic that comes from the Caribbean and Cuba, and that the Padrino, our godfather, is a Cuban still on the loose. Well, we've been led to believe from Mexico City, has a residence in Mexico City. Uh, we've been led to believe that he has a family in Miami, Florida. We were told that he's of Cuban extraction, he's about 40 years of age, and that uh, he periodically travels to Brownsville. From a balcony at federal police offices in Matamora, not far from where Kilroy disappeared, authorities paraded four suspects who admit to cult involvement. Two who say they helped abduct Mark Kilroy on March 14th as he celebrated spring break in Matamora. One bared his shoulder to reveal six ceremonial marks, one for each person he said he had killed. The suspects say that at one point Mark Kilroy almost escaped his fate at Santa Elena, that he got away but was recaptured by this group of Satanists who believe that the souls of their dead would protect their drug smuggling. Shelley Poffler, Channel 5 News, near Brownsville. Early Life and Education Born in Matamoros, Tamaulipas, she attended high school in Brownsville, Texas, while still living south of the border, and gained resident alien status so she could attend Texas Southmost College. She was known among her peers as a good student. She is 6 feet 1 inch, 1.85 meters, tall, and studied physical education, preparing to transfer to a university to earn a teaching certification in physical education. Background Adolfo Constanzo, a Cuban-American serial killer and religious cult leader, introduced her to witchcraft and dark magic. He gave her the nickname La Madrina, Spanish for Godmother, and initiated her into his cult, which was a conglomeration of Santeria, Aztec warrior ritual, and Palo Mayamb, complete with blood sacrifices. Constanzo sexually assaulted and killed drug dealers and used their body parts for religious sacrifice ceremonies in an old warehouse near Matamoros. Many of his victims' body parts were cooked in a large pot called Anana. Constanzo made Sarah already second in command of his cult and directed her to supervise his followers while he was shipping marijuana over the border into the U.S. In Mexico City, authorities say the godfather, Aldolfo Constanzo, and one of his bodyguards were shot and killed by one of his own. According to a Mexican newspaper, Uno Mas Uno, Constanzo was killed by his female companion, Sarah Aldrete, just before a shootout with police at this apartment building. Police say four men already in custody have identified Constanzo and Aldrete as the ringleaders in a drug smuggling cult. Police say the two convinced their drug associates to mutilate 15 bodies in satanic sacrifices, telling the men conducting human sacrifices would protect them from the authorities. University of Texas co-ed Mark Kilroy was one body dug up on a ranch south of the U.S.-Mexico border near Matamoros. Mark's parents say they would have liked to see Constanzo captured rather than killed. Kilroy's plan to remember their son by setting up an anti-drug foundation in Mark's honor. Think about it. Here I am, a father. I have to think of my son. He was running, trying to get away. 
My son was begging for his life. Think about that. Do you want that to happen to your children? Do you want that to be you? That's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you. Mexican police have arrested Alcrete. FBI officials say that will save them from having to extradite her. Alcrete says she is sorry for what she's done. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, if I wouldn't know and it was my kids, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. Mexican authorities say four others at the apartment were arrested, but two remain at large. Killings. In 1989, the killings grew more frequent and gained attention when American tourist Mark J. Kilroy, a University of Texas student on spring break, was abducted. Constanzo, Aldretti, and the rest of the cult went on the run when detectives discovered their shrine. They found human hair, brains, teeth, and skulls at the site of the murders. Eventually, the police found their hideout in Mexico City on May 6, 1989. After a shootout, Constanzo and one of his accomplices were shot and killed by another member of the cult, apparently at Constanzo's behest. Aldretti was convicted of criminal association in 1990 and jailed for six years. In a second trial, she was convicted of several of the killings at the cult's headquarters and sentenced to 30 years in prison. If Aldretti is ever released from prison, American authorities plan to prosecute her for the murder of Mark Kilroy.